Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna rename myself Nicole Technical Difficulties White because every show I have technical difficulties. That's how I do it. For you guys who don't know me, right? Oh, yes, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And my rules are absolutely simple. Yes, hello, everybody. How you do? Come on up. Give me some comments. <laughs> my rules are absolutely simple. You guys at home, you're going to eat. You are going to drink. You are going to have the most fabulous time. Hello, Sheila Marie. Hello, Cindy Bailey, my favorite little cake maker. Oh, there's my hot mess, Sherry Lynn Oswald. You know it, sweet sister. Hi, Debbie Henderson. How you do? Um, so, yes, I had some technical difficulties. We made three events, and this one worked. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Katie Von Cobb. Hi, Becky Johnson. <laughs> so, um, but other than that, I have no rules. So what I mean by that is, I am going to teach you guys how to paint this gorgeous barn sunflower paint tonight. Ooh, baby, baby. I know you're excited because it's pretty, right? So we're going to paint this tonight. However, if you want to do something totally different, you want to paint that barn with your Nana jumping off in her underwear, you go for it. Because guess what? Art is what makes your heart happy. There's no right, there's no wrong. Hi, Chastity Fraley. How you doing, honey? Mary Ellen Dudley Charles. Hi, baby. And Chuska Acavito. Ooh, I like that. Sounds like avocado. Acavito. How you doing, baby? All right. So, tonight, you guys, I took the liberty. I poured your paints, okay? And what we're gonna do tonight, I like a little avocado on my salad, num num. Uh, tonight, what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna need some red, look at that, ooh, lots and lots of red, tiny little squirt of orange, some yellow, cause he's a mellow fellow, some white, black and two shades of green. Now what I have here is I have a nice little Kelly green and then I've got my M&M green, okay? Tell me be ready to stop. I'm already ready, I'm going. Um, so then I've got my beautiful little M&M green. Now if you guys don't have an M&M green, okay? All you gotta do is you're gonna mix a little of that green with some yellow, your Kelly green, add a little of white, and there you go. You got your little M&M green. All right, we've got dark blue, and that is it, my party people. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I've been missing you guys. Hello, Karen McEwen West. Hello, Sheila Marie. How you doing? Say my name, say my name. I said it, Sheila. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got it, girl. Now go like this. Say my name, say my name. All right. <laughs> so let's get started. It's actually... <laughs> Hello, Denise McAdam McKayla. You paint this whenever you want to, pumpkin pie. But, um, yeah, it's been, I guess, it's been a little tricky Ricky getting to you guys tonight. So... The first thing that we are going to do with this beautiful barn painting is everybody is going to grab their big old boy. That's right, Sheila Marie. <laughs> Hello, Kathy Goldman. How you doing, sweet pea? Julie Adelman. How you doing, girl? Patricia Poisson. That's right. I like you, Patricia. Okay. So, the first, thank you, Marie, uh, Charlene. Thank you, honey bunny. I know it's going to be pretty. So, the first thing that everybody is going to do is everybody's going to pick up their big boy. Now, this big boy, hello, Heather Brookin. This big boy, Connie Yawn, how you doing, honey? Oh, I'm yawning. Get it? Huh? <laughs> okay. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up our big paintbrush. And that, my darlings, can be one inch, it can be three quarter inch, it can be, you know what I mean? It's, it's, when you are painting these, you need three brushes, your big one, your middle size one, and your baby brush, your little detail brush, okay? You're gonna figure out which ones work best for you. I'm not gonna tell you what brand to buy. Mm -mm. That's up to you, and the more you paint, the more you'll figure it out, okay? But we're gonna start off with a big boy. And what we're gonna do tonight, I'm thinking, what am I gonna call this big boy for you? And I was thinking, McDonald, as in old, as in E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Cause he had a farm and a barn, okay? <laughs> So we're going to call this big boy McDonald after old McDonald, right? I wonder if they have old McDonald across the world. Probably not, but we got to get. Okay, and what we're going to do with old McDonald is you guys are going to start off by double dipping him. All right, now never okay at the Christmas party, but always okay when you're creating. So one side of old McDonald is going to be this deep blue. And the other side is going to be white. See that? Blue and white. Blue and white. Okay, you flip it fast. It's going to make a little puppet. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to paint this way. All right? We're not painting this way like this. No, we're going to paint this way. You ready for this action? Here we go. And what I'm going to have you guys do is get that paint right on that canvas. You know it, my little party people. Okay? And if you want your sky to be lighter, you're going to grab more white. However, if you want that sky to be darker, you're going to grab more blue. This is the beauty of creating. Okay? There's no right and wrong. Because art is what makes your heart happy. So, if you love what you see, guess what? Oh, and I saw you, Anne Dumont. Yes, I've been missing you too, my little pumpkin muffin. Um, so, if you like what you see, then guess what, my little darlings? You are doing the right thing. Now, I want to show you what's happening here because this has been happening to me. So, I'm assuming it's happening to you when you purchase canvases. They don't have the same amount of gesso that they used to have. They used to have this little covering on them, right? But even the canvases that I'm buying at my local craft store seem to be a little bit more dry. Can you see that? Oh, no, we don't want that. Ca -ca 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 -ca. Right? So what I'm going to have you guys do to combat that, we're going to take our big McDonald's. Right? His name is uh, Mr. Green Jeans. Right? You remember Mr. Green Jeans? I'm not even going to talk about Mr. Green Jeans because most of you don't know who he is. All right? And what I'm doing is I'm... <laughs> you remember Mr. Green Jeans. Hi, Brenda Hutchins. How are you, honey? Is it an... Is it acrylic color? Yes, it is, my love. We are using acrylic because acrylic is a fast drying paint. And this class is going to last about two hours. So that's why we use the acrylic paint. All right? And I'm dipping that in my paint water, just like this, okay? Right? Just a little bit. You don't want too much because you're going to get the dripsies. And to combat what's going on on these uh, thingamadingies, on these, uh, what's this thing called? canvases, what I like to do is I like to pull a little water on that canvas, okay? I'm going to re-dip my brush, all right? Hit this little knucket spots because nobody likes a knucket canvas, all right? No siree, we got to cover that canvas. And any part of that canvas that's doing its little thing, that's drying out, look at this. Oops, see? Too much water. You get the dripsies. I wasn't thinking. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull a tiny bit of water in to compensate for whatever the heck's going on with these canvases lately. Or you can just warm yourself. All right, so here is my, you, you remember Mr. Green Jeans, right? He was Captain Kangaroo's buddy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Mr. Green Jeans. I know my grandpa, wait, my great-grandfather used to have some green jeans. And he was quite the old man, let me tell you. 
He lived to be, he lived to be, I think, 94. My great-grandfather. He was my son's great-great-grandfather. And the only thing that got him declining was he fell off a roof when he was 87. Now that's an old man for you. What was he doing on the roof when he was 87? He was a spry buck, he was. All right. So here we go. I have my sky painted. I am loving what I see. Almost, right? Look at that. Whoa, Chimama. Okay? Beautiful. And I'm going about halfway down that canvas. Sandy Marie. I know I need a Robinson Coco Kachoo. How you doing? Hello, Sheila. You remember Miss Green Jeans. Okay? Now, a painting is never finished, you guys, until you paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. Because when you go to put these in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, what are they going to say? They're going to say, oh, we can't take that. You didn't paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. Okay? So as you're going along, the canvas actually ends right here. See? Oh, on the back. So we're going to wrap that sucker around. Well, really, the issue is when you go to put this in your bathroom and you don't paint the top and the sides and the bottom, or you don't put a frame on it, you're like, oh, Right? Because you can see it half done, especially if you're OCD. Oh, that's going to drive you crazy. So make sure you paint your top, your sides, and your bottom, people. All right. Now, I just have my floors cleaned. Right? So I'm trying to put, <laughs> I'm trying to put something down. But I move so much that me berry is moving with me. <laughs> Don't like that. No, sir. Okay, so there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Nobody wants a sticky bottom. No siree, let me tell ya. So, in Maine this morning, we had, up in Maine, you know, way up in my corner of the world, we actually had our first fall morning where you wake up, right? And like, I don't know about you, first thing I do is I run outside with my cup of coffee, I'm gonna see that sunlight. It was cold. It was cold. I put a jacket on this morning. So fall's a coming, right? <laughs> okay. And you're all finished when it looks like your version of this. But thank you, honey bunny, Aubrey Mar Audrey Marie. Okay. If I want to wisp in some white up here, look at that. Woo! Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bringing in those wispy white lights in the clouds. Oh, baby. See, all you got to do is give it a little wisp. All right. When it's kind of half dry, look at that. Pulling that in. Yes, yeah. We're giving that sky some, some beauty. Look at that, babies. Okay. Breaking her up a little. There. So, hello, Lori. Oh, goodness gracious. How'd you get that name? Vaden Boncia. <laughs> I know I was not even close, but I tried. Give me an A for effort. <laughs> hello, Ken Dossack Zook. How are you doing from Ohio? How are you, pumpkin? And Audrey Marie, we did in was Oh, it was cold in Wisconsin, too, huh? Ooh, girl, I know. Sag Saginaw, Michigan. Hello, Sheila Marie. All right, so you're all finished, you guys, when it looks like your version of this, okay? Now, we're going to take old McDonald and we're going to give him a bath. Why? Because <laughs> he's dirty. What you been doing, old McDonald? All right, now, the next thing I'm going to have you guys do, okay? is we are going to grab old mcdonald he's nice and clean okay i cheated i grabbed another old mcdonald i'm not gonna lie to you all right so we're gonna grab that nice clean big old brush and what i'm gonna have you guys do is you are gonna take that big old brush okay and i'm gonna have you double dip it again but this time we're going to take a lot of that Kelly green, not the light, not the light M&M green, or I like to call that the horny green, but don't tell anybody. Okay, not that one, but we're going to take the full on Kelly green. You guys are going to take a tiny bit of white, look at that, green, 
tiny bit of white, green, tiny bit of white, all right? And we're gonna start at the bottom this time, and you guys are gonna stroke her in. Look at that. Woo! Ah, maybe I'll take a little more white, just because I'm feeling like it. All right, there we go. We're gonna start right at that bottom. Work in that green old grass, because you know why? Our barn needs some grass. Yes, sir, Ray. Needs grass for those sunflowers to grow. Yes, sir. Okay, and the reason why I'm double dipping white in there is because I want to have a little something, something in my grass. See that? I just don't want that big old green grass. I want a little something, something. See that? Woo, something, something. Okay, and I'm going to take that. And I'm gonna work that. See, so cool. Look at that. Look, my little, my little mat caught something. <laughs> my floor washer upstairs won't be happy about that. <laughs> Call me Flicky Nicky. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a flicker. <laughs> That's why when you come to my show, if you don't sit in the front row, I'll flick you. <laughs> get so excited okay now as you guys are going up okay as we're making that green go into that blue what I want you guys to do is let's see here oh hi baby Melissa Long hi sweet girl oh thank you honey all right ah uh, hello um uh, Vihi Akalorata Mishard. Hi, baby. I remember you came to my class, you cute little button. All right. Now, as we bring that green up into that blue, what I'm going to have you do is use less green and more white. Okay? Watch this. Tie less green, more white. Because as we bring it in, we want it to lighten up. All right. Now, we're going to be covering this with our barn. Not a problem. However, when we have those two things meet, we want them to meet in a way that's kind of nice and fancy. Okay? So, there we go. We're bringing it in. Stroking her up. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay? Not making it perfect. Look at that. Ooh, she's blending. All right? And there we go, you guys. Look at that. And don't be like me. Paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. Do the right thing, not the wrong thing. All right, and I'm going to wash my little old McDonald off. I'm going to say my little E-I-E-I-O. Dry them off on my paper towel so I don't get the dripsies. No, sorry, nobody likes that. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of white an old McDonald, just a tiny bit of white. And I'm just gonna go over this transition line so it looks a little bit cleaner, okay? And because my canvas is doing the wanky dry thing, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. Look, ooh, ah, it's a miracle, okay? And there I go, look at that. Happy days are here again. And that is your background for that Hello Margaret Flavel. How are you doing? Reminds me of a falafel Flavel. <laughs> Amaralis, Gabrielle, hi honey, Lucy Burke. How are you doing, pumpkin? Now this is our entire background for our beautiful red barn, okay? Now you guys keep working on that if you're not done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here with my beautiful hair dryer and we are gonna give this, woo, we are gonna give this the dry. Because you guys might be able to see where I didn't paint the sides. Don't be naughty like me. <laughs> it's because I hold 
hold it. I want to make sure that I don't uh, that I don't turn into a paint monster tonight. <laughs> okay. So the next thing that you guys are going to do, once that canvas is nice and dry, I'm going to have you, you guys can either take, now I am not uh, particularly OCD, but a lot of folks like to make sure that they have a barn that's straight. Otherwise, the snow comes in and brings it down. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to have you guys do is everybody is going to grab a ruler. Normally, I wouldn't use one, but for you guys tonight, we're going to make it happen. All right, so we're going to grab a ruler, okay? And what I'm going to have you do, you can either use a piece of chalk or you can use a uh, pencil. Either one works fine. Never use a pen, though, because if you use a pen, the paint won't cover it. It'll be a disaster. All right, so either a pencil or a piece of chalk. Okay, and I don't have to worry because I'm using my canvas this way. Okay, so that barn is actually going to go off the canvas. Now, if I was using it this way, I could do my whole barn, but I'm using it this way. All right, and what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in from the side. Can you see this? Let's see. I'm going to get a little close up. I'm going to get a little close Whoops. Jeez, all fun and games till somebody knocks over their thingy. All right, let's move this over here. Oh, there, so you can get a good view of what I do. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to angle this off the side. Now, where am I, right? Nicole, where are you doing that from? We're doing this probably about, I would say, yeah, you know, um, a little less than halfway, right? We're closer to the top. All right, between a third of the way down and halfway in the in-between. So here we go. And we're going to angle this up. And you guys are going to put in your first line. Look at that. Ooh, there's my roof line. Because the barn's got to have a nice rough. Okay? Beautiful, right? I know. Now I'm going to come in the other side, just like this. I'm going to angle my rough this way. Look at that. Rough, Nicole, rough. It's not a dog, it's a barn. <laughs> As this kiddo when I said rough, I meant roof. <laughs> Cracking myself up over here. All right. So anyways, there is the pitch of my roof. Okay? Beautiful. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to have you come in. And we're not going all the way to the bottom, okay? So what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you leave, depending on the size of your canvas, I'm going to have you leave about, yeah, let's say an inch to an inch and a half on the bottom. Okay, so that's just a line straight down. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah. All right. So a line. I'm back. All right, so there's that piece. And then we're going to close it up. Look at that. Straight line going this way with our, uh, what do you call this thing? With our um, ruler. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. And we have done it. We have carved out that beautiful barn. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So easy a child could do it, right? There we go. Nice. Now, what we're going to do next, now that we have that, and don't overthink it, and your barn doesn't have to be perfect, and you don't have to measure it, okay? Remember, art is perfectly imperfect, and it's what makes your heart happy, okay? So don't you be mean to yourself and don't work too hard to make it perfect. All right. Now what I'm going to have you guys do is on a separate paint plate, I'm going to have you, well, I don't know. You don't have to use a separate paint plate if you didn't over pour like I did. But what I'm going to have you do is we are going to do an undercoat of pink on our barn. What? 
Yes, we're going to do pink because the problem with it, with red or commercial red, as far as I'm concerned, it never covers in the first coat. So what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you mix together a little bit of white and a little bit of that red. Now, have you guys ever, it's kind of like when you're painting your house, right? We use a little primer underneath. Why do we do that? So our paint covers better. So here we go. I'm going to have you mix together a little bit of white and a tiny bit of red. And we're going to make sort of a primer. All right? You want enough so you can paint in that barn. And now I'm going to grab my, uh, my, uh, Ah, medium brush, okay? And I am going to name this brush, now you ready for this? Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he goes with Mr. Green Jeans. <laughs> now, if you are too young to know who Captain Kangaroo is, make sure you Google him because he was a rock star back in the day. All right. What we're going to do with this medium brush, okay, is, <laughs> that's right, bring it on those hearts. You remember Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> remember he had a little puppet? Oh. <laughs> okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to outline right over this beautiful barn peak. So we're going right over our lines, okay? There's number one. We're gonna come on this side, outline number two. There we go. See that? Ooh, <laughs> we're getting there. Okay, come on down. We're gonna go downtown, cover this line. And then we're gonna come across and cover this line. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we got the outline of our barn. I know, you're getting excited. You're about ready to grab your cows and put them in the barn, okay? See that? Beautiful, okay. And what I'm going to have you guys do next is you are going to grab uh, old McDonald again. Let's get out of him out of the bath water. Okay, we're going to dry him off so he doesn't get the dripsies because we certainly don't want old McDonald getting the dripsies, do we? No, sorry. Okay. Now, the, stove, the floor looks good, but it seems as though I've painted the stove. That's all right, though. <laughs> Okay, and what I'm going to have you guys do, load up old McDonald, just like this, and I want you to come straight up and straight down. Can you guys see that? Straight up and straight down, just like that, and that's how we're going to paint in this barn. We're going to start up, and we're going to paint down. Up, paint down. We're going to wax off, wax off, grasshopper, okay? Wax on, wax off, wax on, <laughs> wax off, okay? By the time you guys are done this painting, I'm telling you what, you're going to be doing the whole, whole, whole. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, I got the fruit loopies today. All right, here we go, ready? Top to bottom, Droop. okay, just like that, Droop. Make those noises. The barn will come out better, I promise. All right, just like you're painting a fence. There we go, top to bottom. There we go, right in the corner, top to bottom. And zoom. Zoom. Right? <laughs> zoom. I don't think the karate kid ever said zoom, but he should have. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? There's that. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And my last stroke. Look at that, you guys. Wonderful. Okay. And in the interest of time, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take old McDonald. You are going to put him right in the bath water, 
All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, loving it. Oh God! <laughs> Deb Wilson starts. All right, girl. Rhonda, Trisha Wilson. Jeez, a lot of these comments while I was gone. Uh, is this going to be free for the replay? Yes, it is, everybody. So, always. Oh, thank you, Anita. You answered already. Thank you, baby. Okay, so when that's all finished, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys grab your handy-dandy hair dryer. We're going to dry it on. There we go. It won't stay that way. Okay. And when this is all dry, we are going to repeat the same thing that we just did. Everybody's going to grab their Captain Kangaroo, except for this time, you guys are going to grab the straight up red. All right. So here we go. We're going to go along this peak line, just like this. Okay. Bring that in. And this is going to cover like Sherwin-Williams, okay? There's that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, you guys at home, if this is your first time painting, okay? Or, you know, maybe it's your second time, maybe, you know. Or for all you people that think that you can't paint, and you can, all right? What tends to happen is you get a little nervous. And when you get nervous, you get a little aggressive, especially if you have a rough job during the day. So what I want you guys to do is remember that every time your hand touches this canvas, okay, especially when we're bringing in a second coat, I want you to remember, okay, we don't want to try to rub a hole in it. Take that brush and gently kiss that canvas with your brush. Just gentle touches. You don't have to, no, 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 no. don't do that. All right? Gentle kisses. Let it flow natural. Okay? Kissy, kissy. All right. Now, I've outlined that in red. Okay? Yes, very helpful. And I'm going to grab my old McDonald now. Take him out of the bath water. If he's got a little white on him, make sure you get all that off. There we go. Dry him off so we don't get the dripsies. And what we're going to do is the same exact thing that we just did. Okay? We are going to wax on and wax off with that beautiful bright red. Look at that. Oh, me barn is getting red, everybody. I love it. Okay, look at, ooh, she's so pretty. See that? There we go, top to bottom, very light touch, okay? Gentle kisses. We don't want any of that Pepto-Bismol pink shining through. And the more gentle you are with this brush, the more that paint has an opportunity to get on your canvas. All right, if you're pushing really hard, you sometimes are pushing that paint so hard that it comes off the canvas. We don't want that. No streaky streaky. Okay, there we go. Chop to bottom, whoop, just like that. All righty, whoop, just like that. Oh, she's looking mighty fancy. I tell you what, I gotta grab a little more red. Apparently I didn't put enough on my plate. All right, here we go, squirt, squirt. Okay, and 
There we go. Oh, we are finishing the barn. Look at that. Oh, the horses are getting excited because they're going to have a place to stay this winter. Aren't they? Yeah. Horses and the chickens. There we go. Look at that. Yeehaw. Okay. Now, in order to make this look like a real barn, well, it's here. Let me get that little corner over there. Oh, you'll be untricky on me, aren't you? Oh, we will fix you. Okay, in order to make this look like a real rustic barn, I'm going to show you a simple technique. Okay? While that red is still wet, I'm going to take my brush, okay? I'm not even washing it. Tiny dip dip right into my black. Can you see this? Just a tiny bit, not too much, because otherwise you're gonna you're gonna black it up. All right, ready? Watch this. Dook, 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 dook. I'm not thinking. I'm just poking. Okay. And once I've poked those dooks, I'm gonna wipe off that brush on my paper towel. I want to wipe that black off, but I don't want to clean it. Just wipe it off. And then what you're gonna do is you are gonna pull that black straight up and down through that barn, okay? See that? And what's gonna happen, very light touches, okay, you guys? And this only works if your red is nice and wet, so make sure she's still wet, okay? There we go, look at that. Boom, bada, boom. And what we're doing is we're bringing in some of that antique old barn look. That's too much black, but that's all right. No worries, because I can always rub it out if I need to. And look at that. Oh no, I made a mistake, too much black. What do I do? Take my brush, wipe it off, grab a little red, and I pull it right over. Look at that. Okay, so don't worry if you overdo it because you can always undo it. That's the beauty of it, okay? And you're gonna say to me, but Nicole, when is, you know, when, when do I know when I'm finished, right? I can hear that question coming through the thing. Well, you're finished when you absolutely love it. If you love what you see, you're done. If not, okay, you can add a little more. And we're just antiquing this bad boy. We're giving it the antique look. Okay, so there's my black. I rubbed it in. Now, what else am I gonna do to antique it? I'll show you. I'm gonna wipe off my brush again. I'm not washing it, okay? I'm just wiping it off, wiping off old McDonald. This time, I'm gonna grab some white on the tip. Now, white's a little more forgiving. Okay, same process. Do, 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 do. All right, maybe five, oh, maybe six. Why? Just because I feel like it. I'm going to wipe off my brush on my paper towel. I'm not washing it. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that white through. I'll turn my thing this way because it's easier for me to do this when I'm holding my, my thingamadingy. All right, but you guys probably have a little, uh, what do you call that? Easel, right? And I am just pulling that white through. Now, what happens? Look at this. Ooh, I got clumpy dumpy. That's not pulling through because it's too dry. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, grab a tiny bit of water on your brush. All right, tiny bit, not too much because you don't want the dripsies. Okay, just a tiny bit, and then just pull. Look at that. Pull that through. And if it's too white, not a problem. All you gotta do is come in here with your, uh, with your brush, okay? Grab a little red on the tip, and look at that. Just pull some more red in, right over that white. All right? And you know what? Like I said, you can't mess this up. That is the beauty of painting. You can't mess it up. 
All right, so stop being nervous about it because you can always come in and fix it. And if it's too much or too little, all you got to do is pull red in. If you want some more black to antique it, pull in more black. If you want some more white, pull in more white. You're all right. There's nothing wrong with it. And you're all done when you absolutely love what you see. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's a nice barn. Yes, sir. I want my barn to look like it's got some age on it. Oh, okay. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want your barn to look a little more pristine. Like it was just built. That's all right. <laughs> okay. And there we go. There's my barn. Let me see. Maybe I'll add a little bit more red here. Yeah. Gorgeous. Look at that. All right. Now, don't worry. If you guys, okay, are struggling or maybe you went a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and put too much color in there, it's okay. No worries, okay? Take your hair dryer, dry off your barn, pull in more red. That's all you have to do. All right? You can never mess up. Red thumb. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, now that we have this barn exactly the way we love it, it's nice, it's antique, it's ready for the cows to move in. Moo. Okay. What I'm going to have you guys do next is we are going to bring in, whoop, don't be tripping over my thing. We're going to be bringing in our first layer of grass, okay? But before I do that, I think I might want to, yes, I'm going to. I'm going to dry off my barn, all right? Now that I love it, I'm going to give it a draw, okay? So here we go. you guys do is we're gonna bring in our first layer of grass what grass okay and rather than making that thin grass right you know what I'm talking about that little thin thin grass we're not gonna do that I'm gonna have you guys grab Captain Kangaroo grab him dip him in your paint water okay and then we're gonna squeeze him out all right so he's nice and flat look at that oh no she's coming at us oh <laughs> okay, you're going to squeeze him out so he's nice and flat like this. And we're going to be using him like this. So we're going to go shoom, shoom, okay? All right. Now, for our first layer of grass, I'm going to have you guys just use your straight up Kelly Green. Or you're just your green, okay? Whatever green you have. Not the light green, but your other one. All right? So here we go. You're going to start at the bottom. Boom! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Why do we start at the bottom, Nicole? Well, because if we don't, then you're going to have floating grass. And that's going to look weird. Right? Nobody likes floating grass. And we're just going to bring it in. You're going to make some short ones, some long ones. We're going to crisscross applesauce. Now, don't add a ton of grass because your grass is going to come in in three different colors, okay? So we're just doing the back layer for now, all right? All right, here we go. Zoop. There we go. Oh, yes. Just added a nice thin layer. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Now, for anybody that's wondering, oh, my goodness, Nicole, I can't keep up. 
Or, oh, 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 sorry. Look at that. Oh, I got a little bit longer when I got to the side, didn't I? Zoom. Okay. Oh, Nicole, you know, all you got to do is just watch the show. Watch it all the way through if you want to. Take a break. Do whatever you need to do. Because immediately following this, I'm going to post it on my Artful Nights main Facebook page. So you guys can have immediate access to it. And when you do, you're going to get that rewind, fast forward feature, all that other stuff. Okay? Look at that. Boom. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Okay? And when you're all finished, you got about this much grass. Okay? We're not putting too much in there. You are finished with that layer of grass. All right? Oh. Okay? See that? Nice. Ooh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, right? Yeah, shake your tail feathers, everybody. Right? Shake your tail feathers a little. You little chickens, because we're making your home. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to have you guys do, now that we got that layer of grass in, we're going to come back to our barn, because we have to bring in, I think it's called a hail bay. Hail Bay. Bay Hail? Hail Bay? I don't know. Anyways, we're bringing in the black square in the middle. All right? So what I'm going to have you do, everybody is going to take their little brush, their little Captain Kangaroo. And if you guys want to use your ruler for this one, all right, to carve out this uh, square or a little bit like more of a tiny rectangle here if you want to use your ruler to do that go for it you know why because there's nothing wrong with that all right use your ruler and your straight edge if you want it perfect i'm gonna free ball it okay all right now right in the center here what i'm gonna do is first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come in and i am going to i want a big hail a bit I don't know, I can't think of the word, but I want mine big, right? When I feed my critters, I want those little critters to be able to get lots of hay. So, I'm going to make mine about this big. All right, hold on one second and I'll show you. Can you see that? Oh, she's looking good right in that center, isn't she? Not perfect, but that's how I like it, okay? I'm going to come in and paint that black. Just like that. All right. Because the inside of me barn is dark. Darker. Darker than the outside. Okay. There we go. See that? Ooh, peekaboo. Okay. <laughs> That's a good place to put a chicken. <laughs> okay. Can you guys see that? Beautiful. All right. Then, what you guys are going to do is you're going to wash off Captain Kangaroo. And you are going to wash him off good because we're going to be using some white next. All right? We don't want any black. We want some white. So, dry off your Captain Kangaroo. Okay? Just like that. And you guys are going to grab some white. And I'm going to have you start off going like this, okay? Really gentle. We're not going to add in like the... Ooh, ooh. So hold on one second. Okay? So watch this. Thank you for sharing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Kim, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I'm missing y'all. Hi, guys. Connie Young. All right. Now, while you are so welcome, Christine Loreen. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that white. How did you make out with the bird feeders this summer? Pretty good, pretty good. I still didn't get any more hummingbirds, but I did. <laughs> I became one with the squirrels because I learned that no matter what you do, those little critters are going to go in there. They're going to enjoy their breakfast and stare at you in the window every day. Yeah, so rather than... The, Squirrel wars, wars, I just said, I love you, my little squirrel friends. We are friends now. <laughs> but 
I do. I have lots of brown birds. I have chickadees. It's beautiful. I didn't get any more Oreos. Ah, uh, no, I had one for a couple of weeks and I think they went north. But that was about it. But I tried all the methods, but they just said, see you later, alligator. We're, we're on our way up. <laughs> up north where all the good food is. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to do next is, thank you, honey. Thank you, Pamela Smith. All right, you guys are going to come in and you're going to take this white and we are going to outline the edge of this barn, okay? This is going to be your roof. See that with white? There's that sign. Look, ooh, that's a nice roof you got there. Nice peak. Okay, and then I'm going to come in on the other side. But this time, what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to give it a little overhang. All right, here we go. Ooh. All right. And I'll show you what this looks like. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you hold on one second. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, there's that. And I'm going to give it a little overhang. Okay, and I'm so excited this winter to feed birds because I know I'm going to get some this winter. I'm going to make those little babies fat. They're going to be chub chub. There we go. Okay, can you guys see that? So what I did was I came in with this. I made one side this, and then I came down the other side, and I made a little overhang on the other side. Can you guys see that? Good. That way, all the water can roll off the roof and not into your screen porch. Because when you get water in your screen porch, bad things happen. I know. I learned that last week. <laughs> I'm going to, honey. I've got suet feeders for those babies. This uh, I, I guess you don't need to feed so much suet in this thing. But, um, yeah. So, I am. I got my suet ready for those babies. We're going to them up all winter long. I'm so excited. Okay. Now, while that is still wet, okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you wipe off this bad boy. We're going to wipe off this beautiful little uh, Captain Kangaroo. You're going to grab a tiny bit of black on it. Okay. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. See that? Just a little bit. Ooh, little bit. All right. And what I'm going to have you do is take that black while that wet, while that white is still wet and we are just going to bring it through nice and soft like this. All right. Squirrel wars have ended. I have seceded to me squirrels. <laughs> rocky, rocky, you won the battle. Okay. So I put a tiny bit of black. Now I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to go right over that. Just so I have a little something something in that little peak of that barn. Okay, see that? Ooh, nice method, Nicole. Thank you. See that? All right, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I start off with a nice, ah, uh, what's the word? With a nice clean uh, Captain Kangaroo, I put a tiny bit of black on it, okay? And I'm just basically going to take that black, bring it through my white while it's still wet. See that? Oh, okay. So now I've got a nice little streaky. Then I'm going to wipe off my brush, okay? I'm not washing. Grab a little bit of white on that brush. And I'm going to pull it right over there. See? Oh, nah. See that? And there we go. Look at that. Woo! Yeah, that's a nice roof you got there, Nicole. See how it's 3D? Whoop, whoop. It's coming out at you. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful. All right, now, 
The last thing I'm going to have you party people do before halftime is we are going to take our tiniest brush. See this? All right. Captain Kangaroo, Mr. Green Jeans. Hmm. Who else we got? Hmm. Hmm. I got to think hard for this one. All right. I know. I'm going to call this one Mr. Rogers. You don't know who he is. You definitely have to look him up. Fred Rogers was a good man. He was he was awesome when I was a kid. Okay? So we're going to grab that little brush. Hello, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> who are the people in your neighborhood? <laughs> Major Mud. I don't remember him. I got to look him up. Okay? And what I'm going to have you do is take this big boy. All right, dip him in, little boy, dip him in your paint water, okay? Me too, honey. The one, uh, Aubrey Marie said, I love the movie about Mr. Rogers, and it was the one with, um, I hope it was the one I'm thinking of. The one with, um, oh goodness, what is his name? God love him. Um, he was uh, Forrest Gump. Oh, Tom Hanks played Mr. Rogers, did an amazing job, but I don't I don't know if that's a movie you're talking about. The bunny rabbit, right? I know what you, with the glasses. <laughs> Tom Hanks, baby. Okay, now we've got a tiny bit of black on this. And what I'm gonna have you guys do is, we're just gonna outline just a tiny bit along that top edge, okay? Not a lot, just a tiny bit. Can you guys see that? Just a little bit. Close off that roof line. And you do not have to make this perfect or solid, okay? Just a tiny bit, all right? And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Look at this, oh, just a tiny bit right along the edge of that roof can you guys see that beautiful you guys look at that huh that barn's coming together all right well should i have you yes i'm gonna have you okay i lied to you guys i said it was gonna be half time but we're gonna do one more thing okay i didn't lie i just changed my mind <laughs> i can't lie if i try all right People know that when they come to my class, they're like, Nicole, how's my painting look? <laughs> okay, what you guys are going to do is you're going to wash off Captain Kangaroo, just like that. We're going to add a little bit of white, and you're going to take that white, and you are going to carve out a line around your, um, whatever this thing is called hay baler or whatever it is, wherever that hay comes flying out. Okay, there's that. We got a little edging on there. Is it perfect? No siree. Why? Because we don't like perfect, do we? No, 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 no. All right, and there we go. Woo-wee, baby! Yeah, see that? Beautiful. Light touch or a Sharpie? Oh, Aubrey, no, 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 no. <laughs> cheetah, cheetah, never beat her. <laughs> okay, so you're going to put a little edging on the outside of that. And once you guys get that done, you have successfully made it to halftime. Okay, you guys can go make your bladder gladder at home. Grab a little Scooby snack. Grab a glass of wine. Grab two glasses of wine if you feel the need. Okay, and I will see you all in four minutes. Four minutes. All right, bye everybody. I'll be back.
so. <laughs> Ooh, stretch balls. Um, okay, so now you're going to get my halftime speech. And halftime speech is one thing that I absolutely love, you guys, is when I get a chance to see your pictures, right? Your paintings, because I can't see your faces, right? So if you can, if you haven't joined my online group, it's Artful Nights Main Online Painting Group. Please do that on Facebook. You'll see this and then you see events and groups and all that on my Artful Nights main page. So join the group. If not, you can message me your painting directly and I see all of them and it makes my heart so happy, okay? So please send me your picture. And I have finally decided what I am gonna do this fall. You know me, I don't plan ahead well. So what I've decided is starting next month, you guys are gonna get the inside information my party people, yeah, okay? Starting next month, I am gonna start Tutorial Tuesdays. Every Tuesday night, I am going to do a Facebook tutorial, but they are not going to be the same tutorials that you're used to. I know. Hello, Janice Noise. How you doing? These tutorials are going to be the same artwork that I'm teaching in the real world. My newest stuff. It's a little bit more challenging, but I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, so let me show you what's going to be coming up on Tutorial Tuesdays. All right. Here we go. This is my new latest and greatest stuff. You guys have been asking for it, so we're gonna make it happen. Okay, here's one of them. Ooh, look at this, I'm like Vanna White. Ooh, okay, there's one of my new ones. Okay, and here is another one. Here he comes, the Hootie Owl. What? Here comes the Hootie Owl. Hootie and the Blowfish, okay? So it's gonna be all my new stuff that I'm actually teaching in live classes in the real world. Hold on, we'll give you another one. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna bring you guys back to Mr. Puffin that you all wanted so badly, okay? We're gonna be doing Mr. Puffin. Yeah, baby! I figured that will make my life a little easier, huh? Here's another one. Okay, now have I posted these yet? Heck no, look at that. Ooh, ah. I have not posted these yet because of the fact I haven't had a day to do it. But look for these shows online, Tutorial Tuesdays. And it's going to be a little bit of a step up but you guys can do it. I believe in you, okay? Here's another one. This was one that everybody was all excited about. I taught this one last night. We got the happy little beach. So every Tuesday, we're gonna be bringing, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the newest and the latest stuff, okay? So I am so excited to do this. I'm trying to streamline my everything and make life a little, cra little, little less crazy, even though I am crazy. All right, here's another one. Okay, now with these tutorials, you guys are going to be, I am, there is going to be a slight fee to do these, okay? Look at that. Ooh! Ah! And they're going to change with the seasons. There is going to be a slight fee. It's not going to be the $15.99. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And all you got to do is pay a small fee, $5 or $10, depending on the difficulty level, $9.99, $4.99. You invite all your friends over, and once you guys make that purchase, okay, you're gonna have access to this forever. So, because it's always gonna be available to you. So you don't necessarily have to do it on Tuesday night. You can wait until three weeks from now, and it's still gonna be available to you. Okay, you guys, so that is what's happening next. <laughs> We're gonna be doing Tutorial Tuesdays, it's going to be my newest, fun, great stuff that I'm doing in the real world. Okay? I'm so proud of myself for coming up with a plan. All right? Now, 
That being said, if something happens where, you know, who knows, like if COVID happens again, uh, which it's not going to because I believe in good things, then I'll reevaluate because then we'll go back to the free stuff because that's where I can find the joy. But as of now, that's what we're going to do. Tutorial Tuesday nights, and it's just going to keep on going all the way until who knows for a while. Okay, so yay! <laughs> And tomorrow, I'm hoping I'll have a little bit of time to post these. If not, it'll be a couple of weeks down, I mean, a couple of days down the road where I'm going to get all these lined up for you. All right? What size is that canvas? Well, all of these, because when I do these in the real world, what I do is I paint them on wood palettes. I build my own palettes. So what I'll do is you guys can paint them on any material you'd like. But when it is a large palette like that i will change the size of your canvas so if you want to you can get those dimensions but otherwise what you can do is paint it on whatever size canvas you like okay as long as you're painting it the same orientation you'll be able to do whatever you want okay you can even paint it on your husband's backside if you wanna tattoo tuesday <laughs> Are you still going to be doing the Sunday paint nights? You guys, nah, no, I'm not. I'm not going to be doing the Sundays anymore just because, um, unfortunately, like, I, that, that's a night where I'm actually going to dedicate myself to my family, okay? But if you guys want to purchase on, you know, purchase it before the Tuesday, you are okay. You guys can still do them on Sunday nights, okay? And I may change my mind. I saw those. I saw those, I saw those, uh, I saw those, um, uh, I saw those sad faces, but don't you worry, I might change my mind, you guys know me. <laughs> okay, now are we ready? Let's do it! Woo! Alright, and I think I might do a video explaining all this too. Okay, so here we go. Here comes the, uh, beautiful barn. Alright. We're right here, and the next thing that we are going to do, you guys are going to bring in your beautiful second layer of grass, okay? Um, I may, you know what, and I may change my mind, okay, because I really do want to make sure that I am able to meet everybody's needs. So if I have some Sunday nights, I may still throw a few in there, just because. Just because I love you, okay? So, you know me. All right, so here we go. The next thing I'm going to have you guys do, okay? The second layer of grass that we do is going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, a darker green, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny bit of black. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. And I'm going to add that to my nice Kelly green, okay? So this is my regular straight up green. Somebody said, do you have, am I still going to do free videos? Um, you know, guys, like I said, I think I'm going to try to do both. Um, so don't worry, don't get upset. You know me and you know I love you. So I'm going to try to do both. Um... Ah, uh, yes. So no worries, okay? Now, here we go. I've added a little bit. Um, I, I know you guys love sunny nights. I know. Don't you worry. I'm not going to give up on you. I'm going to do my best to do as many as I can, okay, you guys? Now, we're going to grab a tiny bit of black. We're going to make a beautiful caca green on here. Look at this. Ooh. What's a caca green? It's like a beautiful army green, okay? Bring in a little bit of black because what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our second layer of our second layer of grass, okay? You ready? Here we go. All right, watch this. Ba! Oh, baby, baby, look at this. Whoop! See that? Yeah, sorry. Here it comes. Here it comes, everybody. See this? And we're bringing this in because what we're trying to do 
is we're trying to do a little bit of depth and dimension in this grass, okay? See that? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, so here we go. We're not filling it in too much because what I want you guys to do is remember that we are going to come in and we are going to add um, those beautiful sunflowers. All right, look at that. Oh, I'm bringing some of that grass up there. Chicka chicka pow pow. Okay, here we go. Whoop. And here's this. Okay, a little bit of that dark grass right up in front of that barn. There. There we go. Okay, see that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. There we go, you guys. There's that second layer of grass. And like I said, we don't want too much, okay? We want just enough to bring in that two layers of depth and dimension. All right? And guess what time it is, everybody? Ooh, it's sunflower time. Okay? So, um, what I am going to do for you guys, okay, is we're going to grab our medium brush. We're grabbing our Captain Kangaroo. And you guys are going to grab a little bit of black, okay? And what I'm going to have you do is we're going to carve out the hearts of our sunflowers. But when we're doing this, what I want you guys to consider, and they don't have to be perfect circles, okay? But what I want you guys to consider is you're going to make these sunflowers like they are in real life. And when they're in real life, what they do is you've got tall ones, you've got short ones, you've got one's way up here, one's way down here. So I'm going to have you come in and do the hearts of those sunflowers first so that we can, we can space them all out. However, what we're going to do is make sure that we have enough room for each of them to have those petals. Bah! Okay? Here you go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in with my second little heart, just like this. Look at that. There we go. Here's my second heart. Okay. Here's number two. And I'm going to come in. And maybe I'm going to put one up here. Why? Because I feel like it. This is my little tall... My tall little Inca sunflower. Okay? See that? Beautiful. You have a sunflower bathroom. Awesome, Audrey. I love it. Okay? And here we go. Here's number four. Why? Just because I love you, number four. Now, nobody gets sad, okay? I'm going to read over all your comments. And you know me. I'm flexible. So, <laughs> I might have to, I don't know. Don't worry. <laughs> My whole thing is I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be, continue to be able to do art and have a wonderful time. So, I am definitely going to make sure that I do make everybody happy. Okay, there we go. There's number five. Okay, can you guys see this? Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. There's number that one. And maybe I'll put a little guy right here. All right. And this is the thing about these sunflowers, okay? They are fun. They are whimsy. They are full of life, right? They are absolutely full of life. Okay, so what I'm going to have you guys do is you are going to make each one a little different than the last one. Why? Because that's how sunflowers are in the real, real world. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off. 
Captain Kangaroo. Look at him. He's ready. He's ready to make some sunflowers. They're very whimsy and they're very perfectly imperfect. That's why we love them. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, baby. We're going to come in. Now this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. All right. I'm going to put yellow on one side and a little bit of white on the other. So we got, oh, I put yellow and white on both sides. Look at that. Yellow and white. Look at that. Yellow and white. Okay. And I'm using my brush flat like this. And I'm going to go toom, toom, toom. Okay. That's how my petals are going to go. So watch this. You ready? Toom. See that? Just a nice flick of that brush. A little bit of pressure. And I'm going to drive that sunflower right straight around like a car. You ready? See that? And I'm going to double dip as I need to. Add a little more white. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Allow yourself the freedom to just create. Get right in those. Poke out those petals. Poke them out like they came out of the earth. Okay, let those sunflowers shoot. Look at that. All right, and you're gonna go around. If you need to, you can drive your canvas like a car. Look at this. If you drive it like a car and keep pointing up, they're always gonna be in the same direction. Watch this. Pew, pew. Make those noises, they'll come out better. Okay, and it's just a nice gentle flick. Pew. Ba-choom! Okay? <laughs> like a like a video game. Shoot no, like uh oh I don't even remember what that one was called. Okay, keep going. We're gonna turn them around just like this. Choom! Choom! Alright. And look at that, you guys. We have our first awesome sunflower. And all this is, okay, you guys are going to put a little pressure. The closer you are to the black, you're going to put a little pressure. And then as you get to the end, choom, you pull that brush up. But choom, okay? That's how it's done. Woo! All right? Now, there's my first one. Now I'm going to come in and do my second one. But this time, I'm going to change things up a little. Why? Because I want each sunflower to be a little different than the person next to it. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off my beautiful Captain Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo, Captain Kangaroo. Okay, squeeze him out again, just like mess. Okay, squeeze him out. Ooh, there you go, Captain Kangaroo. And this time, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of orange just a tiny bit see that just a little bit of orange there lots of yellow there tiny bit of orange lots of yellow okay and this time i'm gonna come up here watch this Choom! see that do you see how that makes that sunflower just a little different from his friend look at that Choom! whoops need a little bit more orange on that one Choom! Okay, watch. Oh, baby. Oh, these are beautiful. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I love me some sunflowers. Look at that. Choom! 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 Okay, look at that. Oh, yes, sir. All right, and I'm going around and I'm just flicking my brush like a little fly swatter, a little bug swatter. Okay, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, can you see that? There's number two. Looks like a little sun bursting with energy. See that? Now, if you feel like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I like those colors. All you got to do, right? I know, Katie. All you got to do is pull in a tiny bit of yellow on top. Look at that. What? Oh, yeah. That's all you got to do, everybody. Okay? Yeah, never stop because we can always go over it, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to add a little white in there. Why? Because I feel like it. Okay? So there you go. But the idea is 
as we pull these sunflowers along this canvas, that we change them up every single one. All right, not every single one, like you can do this one down here, but you know what I'm saying, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do next is, maybe I'm gonna grab a different brush. Why? Because sometimes different brushes have a different touch, but it's still gonna be a medium brush. It's just a little softer, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna take this brush, and this time I'm gonna grab some yellow. I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of white on top of that yellow. See that tiny bit of white, and then an itsy bitsy little thing of red. Look at that. So I've got white, yellow, white, and a tiny bit of red. And here we go. You ready for this? Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here comes this one. We're poking around. Okay. Yellow, tiny bit of red, and some white. All right. Boom. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. Here comes that one. Oh, I love myself some sunflowers. Someday I'll actually grow some. That would be beautiful. We'll see what happens. Okay, and I'm pulling these around, and I'm wisping, and again, if I need to make sure that I'm going in the right direction, I am going to drive this little pumpkin like a car, turning my canvas as I go. Well, I need a little bit more white in that one. That one's blended into the barn. There we go. Zoop, 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 zoop. Right, and... Make those noises, because you know they're going to come out better. Now, I like this sunflower, but you know what? I'm just going to wait, and I'm going to come back in, all right, in a little bit, and watch this. You can always add some white or another color in after you already have it pulled out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That works, huh? Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, see that? Oh, Nicole, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, yes, you can. You could do anything because you're a superstar. See that? Beautiful, okay? Now I'm going to come in. I'm going to get a little bit more traditional. So this time I'm going to grab some yellow and a tiny bit of white again, okay? Grab some yellow and a tiny bit of white, and here we go. Watch. Okay, now if you are losing the hearts of your sunflower with your petal, don't worry about it because we're going to bring those back later. Look at this. Choom, choom. See that? We'll bring them back later. Boom, boom. Okay, there we go. All right. Look at this. Look at that, everybody. Oh, yes. I absolutely love what I'm seeing. Look at that beautiful sunflower bursting with happiness. Can you guys see that? And as I said, these sunflowers, they're fun. They're whimsy. They do not have to be perfect. That's why I love them, okay? What you can do on your paint plate to change up the next one, maybe you want to mix a little bit of that yellow and orange together and get a color that looks like this, okay? Uh, here we go, a color that looks like this. And we'll use that for the foundation of our sunflower. So we're gonna take a little bit of that. And here we go, here comes this guy. Ready? Choom, choom, see? There's my next one. All right. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Aren't these fun? Okay. There we go. I'm going to change the pressure of my brush and make those little petals a little fatter. Why? Just because I want to. Okay. And that helps with adding a little bit of, a subtle bit of difference between each one of these sunflowers. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at you, pokey pokey. 
Okay, we're gonna come around town just like this. And there we go. All right, look at that. Now these ones got a little convoluted, didn't they? So all I gotta do, take a little white, come in here, look at that, separate them up. Nothing wrong with that, everybody. Okay, going back in and showing them who's boss. Remaking, make, and remake. Okay, there is nothing wrong with that. Look at that one. Awesome, I love it. Now, for my last sunflower, I think what I'm going to do, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush, my Captain Kangaroo, Grab some of that beautiful straight up yellow, just yellow, because he's a mellow fellow, okay? Watch this. And I'm going to come in, and I'm going to put that yellow in first. Look at this. Boom. Okay, go around town. Look at that. Ooh, just like this. All right, we're gonna come around. Look at that. Oh, baby. And then, just to show you guys a different technique, okay? So I came around with just yellow this time. Look at this little guy. Just yellow, he's a little green, okay? I'm gonna come in after I finish him and grab a little bit of orange on my brush. And look, we're gonna pull a little orange in this way. Okay, after he's all done. See that? Look at that. Oh, awesome. Yes, sir. See that? Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, that's always another technique we can do. And there you go, my guys. This is this beautiful, beautiful, wonderful field of sunflowers. Now, what we're going to, and keep adding with them. Keep playing with them. Keep adding a little white, add a little yellow. Do whatever you need to do to make your heart sing with those sunflowers. Because guess what? It's your special world, okay? It is your world, and you guys can make those sunflowers do whatever it is that you need them to do. See that? Beautiful. Add a little white in there. Now, what we're going to do next is everybody is going to clean off their brush, okay? We're going to clean off that brush, and you're going to grab a little bit of black. Here we go. Black, black attack. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the hearts of those sunflowers back, okay? Because we may have lost them while we were making those petals. So here we go. We're going to bring those hearts back. Look at that. Okay, just like this. Bring them back. Bring them around town, just like this. Okay, here we go. There's that. All right, we're bringing back the love, baby. The hearts of the sunflower. Sunflower power. Okay. And here's the sky. Choom, 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 choom. Okay, can you see that? Oh, now they're looking beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I spray and seal my pictures after I paint them? That's a good question. I do not. However, if you want to preserve your paintings, you absolutely can spray and seal them. I always recommend using a product made by Rust-Oleum. It's a clear coat and it's in a white spray can. You can get it at any hardware store. You can get it at your local Walmart. You can get it at Home Depot, any hardware store. Made by Rust-Oleum. They have it in a matte finish, which is um, not shiny. They have it in a gloss finish. The gloss finish is more protective. However, you can also spray it with a matte finish. Make sure you do it outside where there's plenty of ventilation because you don't want to hurt your brain cells, okay? <laughs> Never mind. All right, now. 
Now the next thing I'm going to have you guys do, okay, everybody is going to grab their little Mr. Rogers. Yes, sir, Ray. Mr. Rogers, you're coming back, okay? And what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white on there, okay? A little bit of yellow and a little bit. Maybe you do want to spray it inside. <laughs> Okay, here we go. A little bit of yellow and a little bit of white, okay? Am I a flower child? Why, yes, yes I am. <laughs> All right, and what we're going to do in the center of these sunflowers is you guys are not going to think, okay? Ready? Whoop, whoop, and a rule of that. See that? There we go. We're just bringing in a little light in the heart of that sunflower. I'm taking my little brush, adding a little yellow and white. Look at this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see you now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, just a little something, something in the heart of the sunflower. And maybe you guys love it. Good morning, Joe Hill from Vancouver, Canada. How are you, my darling? All right, ready? Zoop, boop, then doop. Okay? Maybe you don't want to add anything in the heart of your sunflower. That's okay, too. There's nothing wrong with it if you don't. Okay? Zoop, doop, doop, doop. All right, and we're just going to give each one of them a little something, something. Now, don't think and don't try to, I can see you at home. Oh, oh, nye, nye, nye. no, 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 <laughs> don't think. Because if you think too hard, what you guys are going to do is you're going to make every single one the same, and that's not going to work. Okay, ready? Zoop, boop, drop. Okay, see that? Beautiful. And that is your sunflowers. Now, aren't they pretty? They are so pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys. I bet they are at home. I can't wait to see them. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to have you do is I always in my, in my, well, no, I'm not going to say always because there's no such thing as always because sometimes it works out different, but 90% of the time. When you are painting flowers, what you do is you bring the stem to the flower. You paint the flower first and you bring your stem to it. Because if you do your stems first, what that does is that kind of locks you in to where the flower is going to go, right? We don't want to do that. So 90% of the time, you paint your flower and then you bring the stem up, okay? All right. Now here we go, my little party people. What I'm going to have you guys do next is everybody is going to grab their Captain, Captain Kangaroo. That's right, Captain Kangaroo. We're going to stick him in our paint water and we're going to flatten him out. Look at this. Ooh, nice and flat, Captain Kangaroo. Yes, just like, hmm, what is flat? Hmm, <laughs> good question. All right, now what I'm going to have you do is now we're going to bring in that light green. All right, I'm going to have you put light green on one side and I'm going to have you put yellow on the other. Light green and yellow. And we're going to be using it the flat side down like this. Not wide, but flat. Okay, and watch this. We're going to come up right up in the in-betweenies, right in the in-betweenies of one of these sunflowers and look, whoo, see that? Oh, there's a stem. Nicole, why do we double dip? Well, by double dipping, it brings in two colors at the same time, see that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, take those two colors again, zoop, all right, and on this side, ready? Zoo. there. Oh, she's looking good, isn't she? Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna wipe off Captain Kangaroo. This time I'm gonna use light green and I'm gonna use a little bit of white. Why? Because I want each one to be different. So light green and white and watch this. Here we go, I'm gonna go on the in-betweenies of that sunflower right in the crook, one of those crooks and woo See that? Yes. And then I'm gonna come up, woo, look at that. Okay, woo, look at that. Beautiful, you guys, there's stem number two. All right, now I'm really gonna change her up on you. I'm gonna use a little white, I mean a little white, yellow, and a little green, <laughs> yellow, green, okay. I'm going to make the stem on the in betweeny like that. And then for the little shoopy doop, I'm going to go green and white. Okay, see this? Boom. Look at that. See that? Green and white. Ooh, Nicole, that's so excited. Watch this. Woo. Okay, see that? All right. Now I think I'm going to go with, why not? I'm going to use my Kelly green, my darker green. I'm going to use a little caca green. Okay? Grab a little caca green, a little bit of white. Caca green and white. Watch this. Ooh, look at that stem. Oh, getting fancy on you, aren't I? Okay, watch this. Zoom. There's that one. Okay? This time, let's see. I'm going to go with yellow. So you're getting the point, right? When you make these stems, you want to make each one just a little bit different than the one next to it so that they look like, you know, fun flowers. Not because if you do them all the same, and maybe you like them all the same, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that either. It's your world. All right, this time I'm going to go with yellow and the light green. Pull that in. All right, and for those thingies, I'm just going to go with a little light green. Why? Because they want to just do it. See that? And then my last guy, I am going to go with a little bit of white, yellow, and light green. Oh, we are going to shake her up this time, everybody. Look at that. All right. There we go. And boom. Oh, ho, ho. What? Nicole, that's looking so good. I know. I bet Truth is at home, too. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is we're going to take a tiny bit of that light green, okay? And in the areas right down here, any place that you feel is a little naked and consistent, bring in some of that light green grass, okay? Look at that. Oh, let's pull some in there. What? Oh, I think I'm going to pull some in there. As long as you pull it from the ground up, okay? We'll pull some in there. Okay? Look at that. Zoom. See that? Zoom. Oh, I love it. Zoom. Okay? And just bring some of that in. Look at that, you guys. Just a little bit so we can add a little bit more depth and dimension in our grass. See that? Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm feeling it. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right. And the last step of this painting, you guys, we got to bring in those birds. What? The birds. Okay, so everybody is going to grab their little brush. And you are going to loosen up your black if it's all sticky ricky on you. Now, the easiest way to do this is by making those beautiful V-bird seabirds, right? You remember how you did those when you were a little kid? V-birds, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go back to when you were in kindergarten making those V-birds, okay? So that's the easiest way to do this is... You're going to come in, and here we go. Here's a V-bird. Okay? Now, what I always do is I always add a little something more to those V-bird seabirds. But I don't think, okay, 
So I just kind of go like this, bring in a little head and then give it a little wiggle for the tail. Look at that. See that, you know, just a little something because it looks like the bird from a distance. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Wow, that's just a little V bird. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Well, no, I'm not. I can't stand it. Okay, so ready? Wiggle it out and then just wiggle it out. Look at that. Okay, just a little something. Here we go. Ready? Here comes my last one. Oh, look at that V-bird up there. And bugga da da doo bugga da doo okay? Look at that. What a See that? Oh, I love it. And guess what, you guys? Once you get your birds in, your masterpiece is complete. Yes, it is. What are we going to do? We're going to put our famous artist signature in the lower left, the right-hand corner. That way, when you bring these to the Metropolitan Museum of Art next week, they're going to know who painted it. <laughs> okay? Now, you guys, I see the couple of the comments, and I know you guys are going to miss Sunday, so I will think about it. I'm going to reevaluate. You know me. My heart is big, and I love you all. So I will see what I can do, okay? Don't worry. Don't think this is the end because you know me better than that, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you so much. Make sure you send me your pictures, okay? And you guys have an awesome week. And I'm going to be thinking, I'm going to read all your comments. And you know me, I'm a softie. All right, I love you guys. Have a great night. Mwah! Bye, everybody.